Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica and in today's video, I am going to bring you a very relaxing clean with me. I hope this video gives you some cleaning motivation. I'm also going to share where I purchased my most asked items. So it's going to kind of be a decorating idea type of a video as well. So I hope that you all enjoy it. This has been requested by so many people. So let's just get right into today's video. And it really got me thinking of the time. So I decided to start today's video up here in the master bedroom because I love making my bed before I go downstairs and really get things started down there. So here is where I'm going to start and I'm just making my bed here and I have gotten several questions about this duvet cover since my last video and I found this at Target. Unfortunately, they do not sell this brand anymore, but you can find it on eBay. So um, take a look there, just look up shabby chic or simply shabby chic bedding and you will probably be able to find it on there. So some of you might not know this, but I did start my channel doing cleaning videos and I have had several people requesting a cleaning video. I have not done one of these in a while and normally when you kind of break away from the norm, YouTube does not push your video. So I wanted to make this a little bit for everybody, for the people that come here for my decorating and for the people that come here for some cleaning motivation. So as I'm cleaning and going through each room, I am going to share where I purchased my most asked items and stuff like that. So it is a little bit for both of those um, types of viewers if you are interested in um, my decorating. I am really gonna try my hardest to remember lots of questions that get asked on where I purchase things and all that kind of stuff. But if something is not covered here, please don't hesitate to ask me down in the comments and I will be more than happy to answer. So as you can see, I'm just dusting off my bedroom furniture and I am using the multi-purpose cleaner by Mrs. Myers and it is in the snowdrop scent. It smells super good. And I have gotten asked several times about my bedroom furniture and I found the dresser and the two nightstands at a thrift store and I believe they were $60 for the set. And then I do also get asked about my bed and that was purchased at a um, garage sale and it was only $40 and I did paint my entire bedroom set and I just used a basic white paint that I picked up at Walmart and I didn't use a primer or anything like that. I just um, used a few coats of the paint. It did have a built-in primer and then I sanded it down to give it a um, weathered look or a worn look to it i can't fall asleep because i'm not tired i'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young i told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky it's 2 a.m and i can't fall asleep now that my bed is made and my room is nice and clean, I'm gonna head on into the master bathroom and tidy up in here. And I kind of feel like calling, but it's too late now. I just miss you. So I'm just putting everything away that I have had out from getting ready in the morning and I struggle with finding spaces for things. I really want to hide all of my stuff and just have my countertops completely free. I just don't have the room. Maybe I need to just learn how to declutter and really minimize. That is something that I am definitely going to work on. But when I take you through some of the rooms that we completely remodeled, I do want to show you some before pictures because I've had lots of you ask about um, things that we've done in our house over the years that I've been doing YouTube and I've never shown before pictures. So 
when I take you through the bathroom and downstairs I'm going to show you some before pictures and as you can see this is a before picture of our bathroom and that is our dog Rocco sleeping on the floor there. The two cabinets that you see here for our sinks were purchased at Home Depot and I believe they were originally for a kitchen. We did want the higher ones and we got our sinks there as well. Our countertops are marble. I cannot remember the name of the color but um, they are marble and then we purchased our glass knobs and poles at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to try and link everything I can remember down in my description box. Now that I have my bedroom and bathroom straightened up, I'm going to head on downstairs. It is a little bit of a mess down here, but we are going to get things nice and cleaned up. I'm going to start with whatever takes me the longest and it's definitely right here in the kitchen where the dishes are. I have some dishes that are drying sitting out on the countertop and I am going to put those away and then I will empty out the dishwasher, put all of those away and then I do have a few dishes that I like to hand wash and I will wash those, set those out for a minute and then I will dry and put those away as well. So here is a picture of before of our kitchen and as you can see we definitely did a lot in here. I did paint all of the cabinets myself. It was like a shade or two off white and then we redid the countertops. The color is called Alaskan white I believe and it is granite and then my husband redid the ceiling where we have some pendant lights hanging now. Yeah, I got feelings, but I'm a tough one sometimes. Please move close to me. You love differently. So Now that I have all the dishes all finished, I'm going to clean out my sink and to do that I'm going to be using some soft scrub cleanser and I'm just going to scrub my sink down and then rinse it out really well. And then I also like to clean my garbage disposal and freshen that up too. And for that I like using these little yellow balls, they're called mm -hmm. plinks. And what you do is you just turn your garbage disposal on and then you run your water with a very weak stream and then you just drop the plank down in there and let it run for a few seconds and then it freshens everything up and makes everything smell really nice and fresh and these are lemon scented. <laughs> So 
before I go any further with the cleaning up in here, I decided to make myself an iced coffee. And today I have partnered with Javi to make this video happen. So thank you Javi Coffee for sponsoring today's video. Javi Coffee Concentrate is the easiest and most convenient way to make coffee right at home. I love making these iced coffees and my favorite one is the vanilla. And then I'll just add two teaspoons to some almond milk and then two or three pumps of hazelnut and mix that in with some ice and it is absolutely delicious. And right now the best deal for Javi is happening and you can get 25% off by clicking on the link that I have provided down in my description box. So click the link right now and get yourself some coffee. You will absolutely love it as much as I do. Now I'm just going to be putting things away and clearing off my countertops and then I'm going to give them a nice good clean with some multi-purpose cleaner and for that I'm going to be using the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day in the Snowdrop scent, the same one that I used upstairs. The two things that I get asked most about here in my kitchen are my canisters that you see here and my diffuser. And I will link both of those down in my description box. I got the diffuser off of Amazon and I did paint that and add the applique. So it is gonna come in a natural wood color. You will see once you click on the link. But I got my canisters at Kirkland's and then I did add the labels on there using my Cricut machine. also use an all-purpose cleaner to clean off my kitchen table and then like every other week I like to use a wood cleaner over that so I'm going to be using this wood cleaner that I picked up at I believe it was Big Lots and it smells so incredibly good it is the lemon oil polish and I love this it is by Parker and Bailey and it smells super good and it leaves my table absolutely gorgeous. Now that I have my kitchen all clean, I'm going to start my diffuser and today I'm going to be using the nutmeg and the winter cocoa scents and these smell so incredibly good and I just love them and I did purchase both of these on the Revive website. If you are interested, I will also leave that linked down in my description box. It's 
Now I'm going to head on into the family room and just straighten up the sofa in here and I love this sofa. It definitely has some history behind it. It once belonged to Amelia Earhart. I know that some of my followers already know this, but I know there will be somebody that will ask about this sofa. So I just wanted to let you know that it was purchased at an LA auction from my aunt and uncle and they ended up giving it to me. So that is where that sofa came from. It's absolutely beautiful and I love it. Now I'm gonna be straightening up here in the entryway and I love this bench. It holds a ton of shoes, which as you can see, we definitely need all the room for all these shoes, which most of them are my kids. But I'm just straightening up in here and then I'm going to run the vacuum all throughout the house before I mop the floors. I found this bench that I have in my entryway at a yard sale. I believe it was $20. It was close to 12 years ago that I found this bench. And I did add those feet and that applique and I did paint it white myself. Think about me because I'm starting to doubt we will find a way back to each other when you're on the other side of the world. I'm here and I'm waiting, but I know I can't say that we didn't end it for good reasons. Still, I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon. Now that I've cleaned things from top to bottom, I am going to finish off my cleaning video with a really good mop. Today I'm using my Cedar Mop and Bucket, and if you do not have one, I highly recommend. These make things so much easier when you're mopping the floor. It just makes it a breeze, and you don't have to touch the bottom of the mop to wring it out or anything like that. I found mine on Amazon, but you can find these just about anywhere nowadays. I will leave it linked in my description box, but you can find these at Walmart and Target, and I believe Home Depot even sells them as well. But I 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I know this is out of my norm and I do not normally post cleaning videos, but if you have stuck with me throughout this entire video all the way to the end, I truly, truly want to say thank you. I did enjoy filming this video and making this video because I know that there are so many of you that have missed my cleaning videos and this was quite fun to do and put together. So I'm really happy that I did that. And if you are new here, I normally do decorating videos. So if you are interested in that type of thing, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And I know I'm probably gonna throw another cleaning video out there at some point as well. But I just want to say thank you for watching. If you have not yet subscribed, I truly hope that you do consider subscribing to my channel. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up, leave a comment below. And if you have any questions about anything that you see in today's video, please don't hesitate to ask down in the comments. I will see you all in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye.